Okay, so when we think about college, yes, it's an exciting time, but it's also a very stressful time, not just for the students, but also for the parents taking on those loans. So we do have with us financial educator Eric Palmer, four ways that we can stay on top of those student loans. Right. Because going into college, you have to start thinking about them. When you graduate, which a lot of kids just did, that's when it really hits home. So right. what are four things that people can do to stay on top of it? Well, first of all, you can consolidate your debt or refinance your debt. So there's some low interest rates still out there. So okay. you can get as low as 2% or even just below 2% if you do a refinance or debt consolidation. Sometimes you have more than one loan. So yeah. that could be a great way to attack it and make sure that the money that you're spending is going actually towards principal. Talk to me a little bit about this forgiveness. What is that? So there's certain jobs out there that you can get. Sometimes it's public service or even teaching yeah. that can give you debt forgiveness. But keep in mind, you have to stay at the job for a certain period of time. There's certain requirements, but um, it could be a great way to have that debt completely wiped away. Tax credits. Up to $2,500 of tax deduction. So you can actually deduct the interest that you're paying on these loans, oh, just yeah. like you would on your home mortgage. So um, again, it's up to $2,500, but that could be significant for a lot of people. Okay, we got to get real too, trimming the budget. That's the big one. And of course, that's the hardest one. So right. uh, for the younger generations, we like to go out. We like to uh, do things at, at, at night or on the weekends. Totally. Sometimes you have to trim that back just a little bit. Or if you have a shopping habit or, or different things that you do every single day, sometimes it's the cup of coffee. Maybe bring it down to just one or two instead of four or five a day. But all of those savings will add up and help you put more money towards those student loans and pay them down a lot faster. Realistically, for people who are just going into college, what should they expect from student loans? What are you going to expect to have to pay? There's several hundred dollars a month typically is what, what the payment's going to be, but it yeah. really depends on where you go to college and how long you stay. If you go to a graduate program or just do the undergrad, it could add up quite fast. So it ranges all over. But keep in mind, for the first six months, you typically have a grace period, okay. which they're not accruing interest on. So don't wait for the six months to make your payment. Make them right away, and you can knock down some of that principal without having to actually pay interest. And give me the ratio, and I know it may change with whatever kind of loan that you have, but when you look at the interest versus the principal, what is that? Because it's kind of, it's, it's a little depressing, yeah, to be it honest. Is. It's, again, it's kind of like a home mortgage. So uh, depending on where you get your loan from, yeah. a big portion of that is interest up front. So uh, again, make sure that you take advantage of any opportunity to not be paying interest. Or right. if you can afford it, pay more uh, than the actual minimum payment so you're knocking down the principal and you can get out of that debt within a few years and not carry it into you know your 30s or 40s. Is there any route in particular that you have seen people be more successful with? Is there any payment plan or something that you think this is the way to go? No, there's there's not really a specific way to go in, in, in terms of how to pay it. Okay. It's just a matter of focusing on, uh, number one, communication with, with the, the lender. Make okay. sure that they understand your budget. And when I say budget, it's the, it's the spendable dollars, not how much you make, but how much actually ends up in the, in the bank account right. at the end of the day. So make sure you can afford it. And again, if you can throw an extra $50, $100 even towards that payment, that'll actually go to principal and you can knock so out that hard. debt faster. It's so hard. It I mean, is. for people like me, you, your first job out of college is $20,000 a year, yeah, right. which I know is ridiculous. But some of us had to do it. Right. So it's just such a tricky thing, but it's worth it. It is worth it. It's worth it to get that college experience. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, Eric. If people Thank want you. more information from you, where should they go? Uh, go to our website. It's outlookadvisors.com. There you have it. All right. Thanks again.